So the chain rule is useful when we want to differentiate a composition of functions, something like this. So when it's f of g of x, so it means we're applying a function g first and then applying f to the output of that function. So for example here we might have f of x is x to the 5, g of x is equal to x cubed plus 5x. When we compose those, applying g first and then f, well we get g of x, x cubed plus 5x, and then we apply f and raise that whole thing to the power of 5. And what the chain rule says is that d by dx of f of g of x is equal to f dash g of x times g dash of x. Uh, don't worry about the difference between the square and the uh, curved brackets here, they're all the same. I'm just saying I'm differentiating this whole uh, composition here and this is what I get. So um, first thing to note is that to be able to apply the chain rule we need to be able to differentiate each of the individual functions uh, f and g. So here we can do that, that's fine. f dash of x differentiating this gives us uh, 5x to the 4 and uh, g dashed of x gives us 3x squared uh, plus 5. So if we apply the chain rule uh, here then uh, to say to, to get d by dx of this composition then the chain rule says do f dashed applied to g of x so f dashed is 5x uh, to the 4 so I'm gonna have 5 times x to the 4, but I'm not going to write x here because I'm not applying f dashed just to x, but to g of x. So g of x needs to go inside the brackets here, so this is x cubed plus 5x. So this is the function f dashed applied to g of x, and to complete the result we need to multiply by g dashed of x, which is 3x squared plus 5. And we need to be careful to make sure we put this in brackets because it's the whole thing multiplied by this whole thing and that's the result of applying the chain rule. So uh, if you like what we've done is looked at this function which is a composition and um, I've sort of almost started off with ignore the fact that there's uh, something inside here and thought of just this function as you know something to the 5, I couldn't have got a penny here, you know, it could be a penny to the 5 and if I just differentiated that I would get 5 penny to the 4 but actually then I remember well, it's not just it wasn't just x or, or penny or whatever it was this whole function so I get 5 times that function to the power of 4 and what the chain rule says is when this isn't just x when it's something more complicated we also have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function um, to you know to, to, to make the result correct and of course this is a function that we could have differentiated you know, even without the chain rule. It could have, in theory, have multiplied out x cubed plus 5x to the 5. And so you could, if you, if you really wanted to, you know, do that and check that you, know, you get the same thing as here. But actually you know, it's very laborious to do that and we wouldn't, we'd like to avoid that if possible. Um, and of course we can also apply this to other sorts of functions later on where we don't just have you know, polynomial type functions, but when we, you know, we might use sine and e and log and lots of other functions, for example, in here as either f or g. Let's take another example. So if we've got y equals x to the 5 plus 6x squared all cubed, now this time the function you know, f uh, of x is x cubed, so we've got uh, f dashed of x is 3x squared, and the function g is x to the 5 plus uh, 6x squared, so its derivative is 5x to the 4 plus 12x. So if we uh, want uh, dy by dx then here, i.e. the derivative of you know, d by dx of this composition, uh, then we would differentiate the outside function, so 3x squared. Remember it's not just x, so we've got x to the 5 plus 6x squared, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so we get 5x to the 4 plus 12x. Just use the colours here hopefully to make it a bit clearer uh, what's going on, but obviously usually we would uh, we wouldn't do that. Um, and that's the final answer. If you wanted to multiply it out you could, but I'm going to leave it just in that form. So here's another example. I've just written out the chain rule again here. And we've got y equals 5x squared plus 1 uh, to the minus 3 here. So perhaps the first thing to do is to identify the functions uh, f, and, uh, f and g here. So we've got the uh, outside function um, f, which is uh, this bit here, which is essentially x to the minus 3, so we've got f of x equals x to the minus 3, and its derivative is minus 3x to the minus 4, and then the inside function is 5x squared plus 1, so we've got g of x is 5x squared plus 1, so g dashed x is just 
uh, 10x. So dy by dx then, uh, applying uh, the chain rule, gives us what well, we do f dash applied to g of x, so that's minus 3x to the minus 4, but instead of x we've got 5x squared plus 1, and we multiply by g dash of x, so multiply by uh, 10x there, and actually this one uh, has worked out you know, quite neatly because this, this is just a simple uh, g dash of x, so actually we could write this as uh, minus 30x times 5x squared plus 1 to the minus 4. Uh, if you wanted to, I suppose we could write that as minus 30x divided by 5x squared plus 1 to the 4. Um, and you know, you might have to deal with a question like this, perhaps where the original uh, question was posed rather than this form as you know, 1 over 5x squared plus 1 uh, cubed, say, which is obviously exactly the same as, as this using the index notation. So, uh, so essentially we've differentiated this and and got this. Here's another example then. Suppose I want to differentiate y equals the square root of 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared. Um, now the first thing to do is to identify the f uh, and, the, and the g functions here. So uh, this time we've got the outside function is uh, the square root uh, of x and the inside function is 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared. And if you wanted to, you could write that as um, 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared uh, all to the power of 1 half. So our outside function, f of x, is the square root of x, or x to the 1 half. So f dash of x is 1 half x to the minus 1 half, if you like, or 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x. And the inside function g of x is 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared, so we've got g dash of x is 20x cubed minus uh, 18x. And applying uh, the chain rule then, we've got dy by dx is equal to f dash g of x times g dash of x. So uh, f dash is 1 over 2 times the square root of x, so it's 1 over 2 times the square root of, and now it's not just x we're going to put in, we're going to put in g of x, so that's 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared, and then we're going to multiply this all by g dash of x, so times 20x cubed minus 18x, and just to tidy that up a little bit, let's put that on, on top, so we've got 20x cubed minus 18x over 2 times the square root of 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared, and we should cancel a factor of 2 top and bottom as well uh, to get 10x cubed minus 9x divided by the square root of 5x to the 4 uh, minus 9x squared, and there we go, we've differentiated uh, the square root of the 5, 5x to the 4 minus 9x squared. So the previous examples we could have differentiated just by multiplying them out, whereas here we couldn't have, couldn't have done that. Um, so here, actually, the chain rule hasn't just made things easier, it's allowed us to differentiate something which we couldn't differentiate before, and that will be very typical uh, of its use as well. There's lots of different things that um, it will allow us to differentiate later on. Some situations it just makes it easier, others we really do need to use it.